Does anyone else agree that skincare is the new makeup? Like, especially in the summertime, having gorgeous skin, not only gorgeous skin, but having the routine of doing your skincare. And may I remind you, one of the things you could be killing it at is your skincare routine. And that is where Curology comes in. Curology is game-changing custom skincare made for you by a dermatology provider. They will create a custom prescription cream for your specific goals, whether it's tackling acne, clogged pores, skin texture, dark spots, fine lines, or something else. You start by taking a short online quiz and uploading photos, and if it's a good fit, they will ship you your formula right to your door. It even has your name on the bottle. I really love Curology. I think that it is so amazing. My current skin goals are to have an even complexion, and I want my skin to look very supple, hydrated, and plump in the summertime. And I think Curology has really helped me do that. Get started with Curology just like I did with a free 30-day trial at Curology.com slash manifest. Just pay $5 for shipping and handling. That's C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y dot com slash manifest to start your free 30-day trial. Cancel anytime and prescription is subject to consultation. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Manifest with Tori Simone. I'm your host, Tori Simone. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, then you know that I am back home for today's episode. <sighs> There's something about recording in this kitchen that is just so fun and so nostalgic and so wintertime. Not me being nostalgic over the winter when I keep saying in the winter how depressed I am with the seasonal depression. Not me. Um, no, trust me, I'm not romanticizing the winter whatsoever. Um, I want it to be summer forever, 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 forever. I just love the summertime. I love the sun. I love walking outside and being warm. Oh, I just love, love the summer. No complaints ever from me. I think if I could live in a sauna, I would. Anyway, um, not what today we're talking about, but how are you guys? I hope you guys are all having an amazing Monday so far. Um, if you guys don't know, I do upload all these videos to YouTube. I asked you guys on Instagram what channel you'd rather have them on. And surprisingly, the answer was my main channel. I thought you guys would say my podcast channel, but you guys all said my main channel. So, um, I did put this up on my main YouTube channel. I guess it makes sense. I don't know. Like in my brain, I'm like, everything has a place and everything needs to go in its place. And my main channel to me is like a clusterfuck of a bunch of different things. So it doesn't really work that well in my mind. But to you guys, that's where you wanted it. So this is now on my main channel. And um, maybe I'll backlog and put up some other videos. But I'll also link my podcast channel below. Um, so you guys can watch like any other videos you guys want on video as well. But anyway, I'm so surprised that so many people said my main channel. Anyway. Um... Happy Monday. It's August. What is today? August 8th. That's a great day. Um, a couple things that I want to chat about before we dive into today's episode, which I'm really liking to talk about. Um, my friend was over the other night and her and I were talking about like life, you know, how, you know, how like when you hang out with a friend, it becomes therapy. Like that's what was going on. And we were talking about this one thing and I was like, this is a really good podcast episode. So I made it into a podcast episode. Um, I want to start off by thanking you guys for the immense and just incredible love that I received from the Manifest Planners. I can't believe it. Like, I just cannot believe the amount of people that purchased the planners. Um, so when I put up the planners on Saturday night, I put up 250 and I said to myself, like, I don't think anyone... Like, I don't think I'm going to sell 250 of these. Um, I was like maybe 50 and that's where I felt like really confident and I was going to be really excited and like really proud if I sold 50 of them. And I put it up like late, late, late Saturday night. Like, well, it was late for me. It was like 10 p.m. for me on a Saturday night, like in the summertime. So I was like, people are out and then they'll wake up and the planners will be there. Like that was the whole plan. I put them up. I got so excited that I put on my Instagram story. I was like, planners are up. And when I went to bed, I already had 50 orders and I was just like floored. Like I just, I, I don't know. Like I'm still in shock that so many people bought 
these planners. Like when I'm recording this now, I think I have like over 350 orders of the digital planners and I don't know, like not to get deep or anything, but like, I'll be honest with you guys. I am the most washed up influencer to ever exist. Like that's really how I feel. And that's fine with me because it's just not, I don't call myself an influencer. I don't like try to be an influencer or anything, but I was like, I don't know how it's going to be received if I make like a product and then put it out there to the public. I just, I'm like, I'm so washed up. Like I'm just not what the people want these days. And like, you know what I mean? Like, I was just like, it's like my time has passed, like blah, blah, blah. And to just get over 350 digital downloads of the planner was so beyond humbling and like beyond my wildest dreams. And it's, it's just so nice. And like, it's terrifying that so many people have it. And I felt like I was like tech support. Like people would be like, oh, my hyperlinks aren't working or this or that. Quick note, if your hyperlinks aren't working, there's a couple reasons. Number one, you need to update your good notes. That will definitely fix it. Um, number two, make sure that you're using like um, the right tool for your hyperlinks. Like if you're using the pen tool, your hyperlinks aren't going to work. And that's not like a me thing. That's just the software of good notes. Um, so that's like something just to put out there. Like you have to have the right tool selected to use your good notes. Um, it's the one on the upper right hand corner. It's like a circle with a line through it. I don't know if it's supposed to be a pen or like what, but anyway, when that is clicked, that's when your hyperlinks will work. Like not when you write. Otherwise, if you write over something that's hyperlinked, like you're going to lose your page every time. So it's, it's a setting that's like good. Um, but yeah, that's going to fix hyperlinks. Cause I got a lot of questions about that. Um, yeah, I kind of felt like tech support over the weekend. That was cool. It was just so cool to release a product and just have so many people buy it and use it. Like the other day when I was at my studio in Sea Isle um, at Stride, like Katie showed up, pulled up her manifest planner and my other employee, Caitlin, pulled up her manifest planner. And like my other employee, Caroline, had her manifest planner. I'm like, oh, my God, everyone is the manifest planner. Like it was just so cute. And, oh my God, I just, I can't even believe that people have it and people love it. It's just like all I could have ever asked for and more. So like truly thank you so much if you've purchased the Manifest Planner or you're waiting for the physical or you have it and you use it and you love it. Like just thank you so, so, so much. You don't know how much it means to me. You honestly don't. Um, I really was like, my time has passed. Like I'm washed up, blah, blah, blah. But I guess some people still like it and I am just so beyond humbled and honored. So thank you for letting the manifest planner be part of your life. Um, it really is more than a planner. It's a journal. It's a wellness planner. It's a goal tracker. It is like, it's so much more than just like a day to day agenda. And I'm just humbled that it's a part of your daily routine and ah, I'm just, I'm so excited and I'm so honored. So thank you guys so much. Um, I will leave a link to my Etsy shop in the show notes. If you guys want to pick up your own manifest planner, it's 1995 and it's a digital download. As long as you have good notes or like keynote on Apple products, like on a laptop or on an iPhone, like it's going to work for you there. Um, if you don't have an iPad, but you want to start using the manifest planner and I will be releasing a physical copy in the new year. We all know this. Um, so that's going to be coming in the new year. And I don't know how many I need to order for that because again, like I would have ordered 50 and then been sold out. So I have like no idea how many to order. So I have to figure that one out. Um, but I do plan on releasing a couple more digital things this year. One of them being a undated version of the manifest planner. I'd like to get that out like for September, honestly. So I'm going to get, I'm going to start working on that um, this week. And another thing that I want to release, um, a lot of my employees are students at college still, and they were asking for like student oriented sheets that you can implement into the planners, which I loved that idea. So like homework PDFs, like assignment PDF, stuff like that. Um, I'm not a student. So if you guys are students and you're listening to this, please DM me at Tori Sterling underscore with what you want your, like what you would want for a homework kind of PDF thing or like a homework planner, like a student planner or something like that. 
Um, so I would definitely want that for uh, ASAP release, maybe also September, maybe this month, who knows. And what else do I have in the works? Really just that for right now. I definitely want to do an undated version um, right away and some student oriented sheets right away too. But anyway, so that's the manifest planner. Thank you guys again, like so much. You really just don't even know like how much it means to me. It's, I, I don't know. I'm bad at expressing my feelings online, but thank you so much. And I just love you guys. I really, really do. Speaking of love, um, it's not where I'm going. Sorry. This past weekend, I celebrated four years of stride. Ah, so crazy. Um, it's crazy to be entering into the fifth year of stride. And okay, I know people are going to say that I'm wrong with that calculation because I just celebrated the four year, but that means I'm entering the fifth year because you're like completing a year. Think about it this way. Like when you're born, you're not born at one, you're born at zero. So like when you're one month, you're one month old. So by the time you turn one, it's your first birthday. You've already lived for one whole year. So you're entering your second year of life on your first birthday. And this concept did not make a lot of sense to me either. But I remember on like my 12th birthday, my grandparents wrote me a card and they were like entering your 13th year. And I was like, mom, they think I'm turning 13. And then my mom explained it to me. Maybe it's just something that we say in my family, but like to me, it makes perfect sense. So we celebrated Stride's four year anniversary this past weekend. And we're now entering our fifth year of Stride. That's how that works. Um, it is so crazy to have been open for four years at stride Phoenixville. Um, this is actually so crazy. And I bring up Reddit another time in this episode as well, but I found a Reddit thread, um, a couple weeks ago. I'll tell you why I was, um, <laughs> I was searching for apartment rates in Manhattan, not because I want to live there, but just like, I'm just curious what these influencers are paying. Like, do you know what I mean? Like I'm one of you guys, like, I want to know how much people are paying. So I was like looking for like certain buildings and like how much people are paying and all sorts sort of stuff. Long story short, I go on Reddit and I'm reading like this Reddit thread of like influencers and their rent and all this stuff. And I'm just like, this is bizarre to like be reading this, whatever. And then curiosity killed the cat. And I was like, I wonder if there's a Reddit thread about me. And remember, I'm like, I, I think I'm like a washed up influencer. So I'm like, there's definitely not going to be anything about me. So I search with confidence. I'm like, there's nothing about me. There is. Um, so I also don't know what snark means. I'm not like a Reddit girly, but I guess it's like a, I don't know. It's a thing. Katie loves Reddit. I need to ask her what that means. Um, but it was like Tori Sterling snark. And I was like, Oh, what does that mean? So I went to go read it. And in this thread, um, people were just saying like how weird it was that I had a business. And I just thought that was weird. Like who thinks it's weird to have a business? Like, I don't know. It was, it was just a weird thing to read, to be like, Oh, it's so weird that Tori Sterling like opened a business. Like what's weird about that? Literally what's weird about that? Like what am I supposed to be posting like how to put on mascara for the rest of my life. Like, I don't know. Like I didn't think it was weird to open a business, but anyway, I was reading this thread and there wasn't anything because like I said, there, there wasn't much in there because I mean, I don't really, I'm not relevant these days, but, um, oh my God, this sounds like I'm also watching only murders in the building. And it sounds like, um, Charles Savage's character where he's like Brazos and just talks about like the glory days. I promise I'm not like sad <laughs> or I'm not like reminiscing on like old days. It, I think it just brings up like old feelings when I'm like selling a product or something. I don't know, but I'm very content with my life. Like, please don't think this me being like, no one cares about me because I post what I post for a reason and the lack of stuff I post for a reason and the amount of stuff I post for a reason. Like, trust me, if I wanted to be like on my influencer game, like I would be, I'm very happy with my life and how much I share and all that sort of stuff. And my face is getting red talking about this. So I'm just going to move on. And I forget what I was even saying. Um, but anyway, yeah, there was this Reddit thread and it was like, so weird that you open up a business. And anyway, I'm here to say that people love to silent hate. And I think especially on influencers, but I'm just here to tell you that like you can truly do anything that you want if you set your mind to it. 
And I have learned so much over these past four years. There's not a second that goes by that I regret anything that has happened with Stride, even the things that are completely out of my control, such as a pandemic. Um, Because I have just grown so much as a person and I cannot imagine my life without stride these past four years and all that it's taught me and all that it's brought me and all the opportunities that come from owning a business and all the life lessons that come from being an employer. And it has just been such a journey and an incredible one. It has the highest highs you could possibly imagine and the lowest of lows that you could possibly imagine. It's every emotion all within the span of an hour. I'm just kidding. It's like all the emotions all the time and it really is crazy. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for supporting Stride and being so kind and interested in stuff that I do offline as well. Um, it's just, it's very cool to see. And I feel like we just have such a strong community here with Manifest. And I'm just really grateful for all the support. Like you guys really do to show support. Like listening to the show every week is showing support. Watching YouTube videos is support. Leaving reviews is support. Purchasing the Manifest Planner is support. Following Stride is support. Attending Stride. Like so many people have attended Stride classes and they're like, I love the podcast. Like it's just really, really, really cool to have an online following and then to translate that into like physical places or products and like put a face to the name of the people that have supported me throughout the years. And I just thank you so much. And oh God, I can make a whole episode about what I've learned in the past four years and how much I've changed in the past four years. Like I'm just so sim to put it simply, I'm just not the same person I was four years ago when I opened the business. And like that even makes me think about like marriage. Like how do people get married? <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like when you get married, like you're what, like let's say 30. And by the time you guys like grow and you know, if you have kids and then they go off to college and by the time that's all done, like you're 50 and it's like, okay, you're not the same person at 50 that you were at 30. And like, it really, like, it just makes me think about like a lot of things. Um, anyway, I'm on such a tangent today. And Oh, also for anyone that doesn't like when I go on tangents, like what do you expect a podcast to be? I mean, maybe my podcast just isn't your cup of tea and that's totally fine. There can be a snark on Reddit about it, maybe whatever snark means. But, um, yeah, I do go off on tangents a lot. So anyway, okay. got to get back to it. We celebrated stride this past weekend when I'm recording this, it's actually Friday. So I have not yet celebrated, but I imagine it was a really fun weekend. Really, really cute. Lots of balloons, celebrations, confetti, loud music, all the stuff that makes stride stride. And I'm just so grateful for these past four years, the community, the staff, the clients, just everything that comes with it. My co-owner, it's just been such an amazing journey and journey to say the least. So, okay, let's move on to today's topic um, that I'm so excited to talk about. And that is the fact that you got to kill it in one aspect of your life. Does anyone else agree that skincare is the new makeup? Like, especially in the summertime, having gorgeous skin, not only gorgeous skin, but having the routine of doing your skincare. And may I remind you, one of the things you could be killing it at is your skincare routine. And that is where Curology comes in. Curology is game-changing custom skincare made for you by a dermatology provider. They will create a custom prescription cream for your specific goals, whether it's tackling acne, clogged pores, skin texture, dark spots, fine lines, or something else. You start by taking a short online quiz and uploading photos, and if it's a good fit, they will ship you your formula right to your door. It even has your name on the bottle. I really love Curology. I think that it is so amazing. My current skin goals are to have an even complexion and I want my skin to look very supple, hydrated, and plump in the summertime. And I think Curology has really helped me do that. I thought it was really fun going through the quiz and answering questions. It was asking very in-depth questions that I never really thought about when it came to my skin. And sending in pictures was also super fun. I just took it in my card. It only took a couple of seconds. And within a couple of days, I had a custom formula being shipped to my door. And I put it on every night. 
and my skin has really made a huge difference and it's exactly what I wanted. Get started with Curology just like I did with a free 30-day trial at Curology.com slash manifest. Just pay $5 for shipping and handling. That's C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y dot com slash manifest to start your free 30-day trial. Cancel any time and prescription is subject to consultation. So like I said, I was talking about this with a friend this past week. I think it was on like Wednesday night her and I were chatting and we were just talking about how when there's one thing in your life that is going wrong, everything in our life feels like it's going wrong. And I think we can all relate to this. I mean, I literally have this feeling this morning. It can be on a great scale where, you know, like you're failing at your job. You just got fired. Maybe you like are going through a breakup, like horrible things can happen. And when those horrible things spiral, like we feel like we are so out of control and they can also happen on a smaller scale. Like today I had so much to do. I completely overbooked myself and I just horribly planned this day, which is ironic, but that's okay. I I horribly planned this day and I was just beyond stressed out. And because of that, I just felt like the, every aspect of my day this morning just felt like a mess. Like I, like I was just so over the day before it even like began. So it can happen on a great scale and a small scale. Now, if you flip the script If one thing is going great in your life, don't you feel like everything goes really great in your life, small or big? Like if you're really killing it at work, like don't you really feel like you're kind of killing it in every avenue of your life? Or if you feel like you're really like killing it one small thing, like every day I'm going to have a green smoothie and you do it. You can't tell me that you don't feel like you're on top of your game. Like you are the king of the world. Like And that's really where I want to take this episode today. It's that you have to have one thing in your life that you feel like you just totally fucking kill it at. And if you don't like the phrase, like we're killing it at this one aspect, um, I say it a lot in this episode because I just feel like it really has the punch that I'm looking for, the oomph and the like the passion behind it. Like we're killing it in this. You know what I mean? So this whole episode from here out is about taking control and confidence in one aspect of your life and just fucking killing it. Um, like I said, this could be something very small, like taking one cold shower a day and having that be your priority. And every day you just kill it. And the domino effect that comes from that is just astronomical, or it could be something huge, huge or small. But let's think about this. And I have a couple of examples. 2020 during COVID. Oh boy. So much stress going on. Um, To give you a little bit of insight, I had a situationship going on in COVID that I had like just simply no business being in. Okay. It was just horrible for me. Um, The business was closed due to COVID, like during the pandemic. And let's also say the obvious, it was a pandemic going on. Okay. While there's a pandemic going on, I'm also opening up another location of my business, which by the way, I signed all the paperwork days before COVID, not knowing anything, anything was going on. And I had no idea how to navigate any of this. Okay. Like when you were a business owner, for example, in times like this, people turn to you of like, well, what do we do? And I found out something at the same time as everyone else. I didn't know anything that was going on. And I'm also 21 at the time when this was happening. I was scared and I didn't know the answers, but I had to have all the answers. That was a really bad time of life for me. And like, I look back on it and I really was like in the moment underplaying like how much that time affected me. And now looking back, like I'm just so grateful to be past that. And I think so many of us are, but what I'm getting at is nothing in life felt like it was going right. And it's not me being like, whoa, woe is me. The victim is me. But I didn't take initiative of anything in my life. I left no room for me. I did no self-care. 
I did not work out. I didn't plan my days. I was just simply like not killing it in any aspect of my life. And it showed my entire life felt like a mess. And then on the other hand, in 2019, pre-pandemic, I felt like I was absolutely killing my morning routine. I was waking up at 4 a.m. I was reading. I was journaling. I went to the gym. I came home and I like made breakfast and I started my day and like I was like fucking killing my morning routine, which mind you, I found another Reddit thread about or maybe it was in that same Reddit thread. They were like, why does she wake up at 4 a.m. to read a book? Like, that's so weird. Like, okay, tell me how you really feel. But anyway, I was killing it, girl. And because I was like really killing it with my morning routine, I had my shit together in every avenue of my life. It felt like I felt like the business was absolutely excelling at that time. I had great friendships at that time. I felt extremely happy. And of course, I have an entire podcast episode about idolizing a an older version of ourselves, like a past version of ourselves. So of course, like I can think off the top of my head of two things that like weren't great that were going on. However, I did feel like I was for the most part in control of my life and confident with the direction that my life was going in, which is important to feel like that. And it's all because I had a morning routine that I loved. So what I'm getting at is that there needs to be something in your life that you can kill it at, whether it's small or big, something needs to be there for you that you can do every single day and kill it and have the domino effect. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for you're killing it. It doesn't have to be the perfect business or the perfect relationship or the perfect morning routine or the perfect social life because you're never going to have anything that's perfect, but you can kill it in a lot of avenues of your life. Some examples like killing it at journaling every single day, killing it at going to the gym every single day. When I was on my gym grind, like last, when was it? I think it was last, no, it was 2020. Yeah, it was December of 2020. Me and my friend would go to the gym every single morning and we would like work out and then the gyms closed again. But anyway, before they closed again, we were like killing it. Like we went to the gym and then our days were amazing. Like we were killing it going to the gym together. Um, Another example is taking a walk every single day cooking dinner at home every single day, recording a podcast once a week, even if it's just once a week. Like if you know you put out a good podcast every single week, like you're killing it and you're going to feel that in other avenues of your life. Um, It could be doing your nails at home every two weeks, which by the way, I recorded how to do your nails and that will be up on my YouTube soon. It could be you kill it at reading and you are on a reading kick and that is your lead domino effect to do so much more with your life. You could kill it at your job. And look, even if you're in a job or a career that you don't love, you could be the best at what you do. Like, for example, when I worked at Sweet and Sassy, I knew that I didn't want to like work at Sweet and Sassy my whole life. Like I was 16, but I was going to be the best party coordinator Sweet and Sassy has ever seen. And I had the best time. Like it was so much fun. It was such a fun job. It wasn't end all be all, but I wanted to be the best. I wanted to kill it. And I felt like I did kill it. And I had all this confidence that came from the other avenues of my life once I felt like I was really killing it in my work. So let's say you're a waitress and you hate being a waitress. If you kill it in being a waitress, you'll be amazed at the confidence that comes from being really good at what you do, especially if you spend a lot of time doing it. You may as well be good at it. Okay. You may as well kill it. Um, You could kill it during your study hours at school. Like if you are on top of your studying and you're like, I'm really good at studying. Like I'm killing my study hours. Like you're going to feel confident in every other aspect of your life. There are so many things that you can be good at that inevitably will bleed into every avenue of your life. 
So let's take an example of one that um, I think so many of us love doing and you'll be amazed at how much it could just be a lead domino in your life to bleed into so many other aspects. So let's take taking a walk or an example. If the goal is to take a walk every single day, let's break this down. So um, I actually do remember doing this a couple of... um, let's see, when was this? A couple of months ago. It was like right when it was getting warm out and I was like, I'm going to go take a walk every single day. Well, when I was doing that, like I really felt on top of my life. Like everything was going good in my life. So let's like really break this down. We know that after a workout, we get endorphins and we feel good. And when I'm going for a walk, I typically get like ideas flowing through me during these walks. And then afterwards, I'm like really ready to take on the day. So it's safe to assume that every day after my walk, I'm always going to be just a little bit better off mentally um, for the rest of my day and just a little bit better physically to do what I need to do next in my day. Physically, meaning just like mentally, I'm more sharp. Um, I just feel better, I'm happier, whatever. Whether after my walk, my plan was to like literally just sit down and like watch Netflix and do nothing, or I had an entirely full to-do list for the day, I'm going to be better off. If my day plan was go for a walk and then do nothing, maybe before my walk, I wanted to door dash like, I don't know, fast food. And then after my walk, I decided to go home and make like a grilled cheese instead of door dashing something. That is an example of I killed it in my walks and out blood over positively into something else in my life, which was cooking a meal at home. Or if I had like a very full to-do list that day and I just felt like my whole day was like just be, I was beyond stressed out being able to go for a walk and then coming home to my to-do list is the best because now I have a clear mind and I'm able to be, really present in the moment for my to-do list and I'm very level-headed and that is all the best things that I could offer from a walk. So just going on this walk, I've now really cleared my mind. I'm more level-headed and I can show up better to another avenue of my life just by going on a walk. Taking a walk every day is also a promise to myself. And by honoring and keeping that promise to myself over time, I build inner trust. Now, Ed Milet has presented this idea to all of us, and it's just one of the best ideas and concepts of all time. But inner trust is truly everything. Once I believe the words that I say to myself and I say, like, I'm going to do this and I actually believe it, you will be amazed at what you can do because you can do anything. How many times have you said to yourself like, Oh, I'm going to wake up tomorrow at 5 a.m. and go to the gym. And then your alarm goes off at 5 a.m. and you don't go to the gym. And then you wake up at 8 a.m. and you're like, God damn it. I really wanted to go to the gym. Why did I do this to myself? That kills trust within ourselves. And when you don't trust your own word, that's a really sad feeling to know like, okay, this is what I want to do, but I know I'm probably not going to do it. Like that's sad. So being able to build your inner trust with yourself is the most important thing. And once you trust your word, like you can do anything. If you trust your word and you say to yourself, like I'm going to do an Ironman triathlon, like you're going to do an Ironman triathlon. Um, so let's keep on with this walk idea. So I go for a walk every single day and I now trust my word that I am going to go for a walk every single day. Let's say I'm really killing it in my walks and I want to take on something else that makes me feel like I'm really killing it because I'm killing the walks. What else can I do? Let's say I choose to cook home cooked dinners. It's a promise to myself and I'm choosing to keep it. And now when I cook dinners, I have to now get out of the house to go grocery shopping. And while I'm in the grocery store, I discover new foods to cook with. And then when I come home to cook, I realize I love cooking. I realize that it completely unwinds me. I find that I find pleasure in making like a mocktail while cooking or pouring a glass of wine while cooking or having chips and hummus, carrots and hummus while cooking. 
it's a great activity to also do with a partner. So let's say that I find that now I have 45 minutes carved out every night to just play music, drink wine, and chat with my partner. And having this time to cook and chat with my partner has really given us a space to grow in our relationship. What we like, what we don't like, any future goals that we have together or individually, it's just this time for us. So now I have the hobby of cooking. I have the relationship time while I cook and I'm emotionally fulfilled in my relationship. Plus, let's also say something super fun is that when I cook, I like to watch TV shows and catch up on TV shows. My choice of show right now is Love Island and I am obsessed. Um, So I love being able to watch TV while I eat. And now I get to watch TV while I eat a home cooked meal with my partner after we just had an amazing chat while cooking together. And how cute is that? And how fun is that? So now every single night I get to cook dinner have time with my significant other or just time with myself, pour myself a glass of wine, make a mocktail, put on music or put on a show while I cook and cook and show myself love through cooking my own meals. And all of this started with a daily walk. Do you see what I'm saying? Like once you feel beyond confident in one avenue of your life, every other aspect of your life is going to feel that amazing energy and start to kick it into high gear. Taking a walk every single day is going to have so much more of this bleeding effect of confidence than you even realize. Like to be able to say, I'm going to go for a walk every single day and trust that you're going to do that and know that when you go on the walk, you're not only going to feel better, but you're going to return more productive. You're going to be proud of yourself for going. You're not a body in motion stays in motion. You're going to want to keep doing other things that are good and productive for you. And before you know it, you're living this amazing life that has all these amazing avenues of your life, all because you decided to go on a walk every day. You made the promise to yourself and you're killing it. So what I'm getting at is that this is the domino effect of life. The key is to take something that you can do every single day and fucking kill it. You just got to kill it. You can journal every single day. You can meditate every single day. Think about meditation. Think about the domino effect that happens when you meditate. When you meditate for five, 10 minutes every single day, whether it's in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, you're going to have ideas flow through you. You're going to have to test the patience. You're going to have to practice strengthening sitting on your own. Like that's hard to do is just to sit and be alone with your thoughts. It's hard to do. That's why it's called a practice. If you are able to strengthen that within yourself, imagine all the other things that you can do to walk away from a meditation, very level-headed, very clear, very clear in your thinking. Imagine that being translated into another avenue of your life. Maybe after your meditation, you say, you know, I really want a green juice. You make yourself a green juice. And then after your green juice, you say, you know, I really want to make a to-do list for myself. Like I'm feeling very clear-minded and very good and very productive. You make a to-do list. You clear your to-do list that day. Then you know what? You want to keep it going. You cook dinner. You realize that you love cooking dinner. So then you do it every single night for the next couple of weeks. And then The next day you rinse and repeat and you start with a meditation and then you have to go to work that day. And let's say you are a waitress. We'll stay with this example. You are a waitress. You have to go to work that day and a customer is testing you. But because you meditated, you feel very stress-free, very level-headed. What they're doing doesn't really affect you today, but it would have on another day if you didn't meditate. But today it's not really affecting you. You see what I'm saying? Like you're killing it in one avenue of your life and it's showing itself in every other avenue of your life. And that is just amazing. And like, that's the ultimate goal. And it doesn't take as much work as you think. All you have to do is find one thing that you are either a good at or B want to become good at by putting in work every single day and just showing up to it. Take something you are in control in and kill it. You will be amazed at how much confidence you instill in yourself and how much your life enhances. And guys, that is what I'm going to lead you with today. I love this concept. And when I was talking about it with my friend, I was just like, I have to talk to the manifest people about it. I just know that they're going to love it. I love it. And I just need to talk about it. So 
kill it guys. Choose one thing and kill it. Whatever you decide and just be the best at it. Be the best that you can possibly be and to show up every single day. It's an act of showing up every single day. It's the discipline, it's the commitment, and you will be beyond proud of yourself. I can promise you guys that. So I would love to know what you guys are choosing to be the best at. Um, Taking a walk, I feel like, is a really great starting point for this. Establishing a morning routine is also really good. It could literally be as simple as drinking a gallon of water every day. Something as simple as that, you will be amazed. You just have to be good at one thing in your life and everything else will follow. The confidence that comes from being good at one thing is beyond amazing. So guys, that's what I'm going to leave you with. Happy Manifest Monday. I hope you guys have an amazing Monday and um, enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please leave a five-star review on Spotify um, or Apple Podcasts or anywhere that you're listening. If you can review, it really just helps the show so much. And I just appreciate you guys so much. I'll have a link below to the Manifest Planner if you guys want to purchase one for yourself. And keep tagging me in your spreads of the Manifest Planner. I love seeing it. Um, And guys, thank you so much. Have an amazing week. Happy Manifest Monday. And I will talk to you guys all next week. Bye, guys. Have a great day.